Filmora 14 is officially out and there are some awesome new features that I definitely want to show you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new advanced reframing feature within Filmora. Now, for those of you who shoot a lot of different types of content, either for YouTube or Instagram, you know that it can be such a pain to convert widescreen to vertical or vertical to widescreen. Now we have an AI based tool within Filmora, which will do this for you automatically. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we are within Filmora 14. We're gonna use the auto reframe feature. You can find it right here on the main screen of Wondershare Filmora. Just click on that. And now we're gonna import some footage right into this window. So I'm gonna click on import. Then I'm gonna click on one of these widescreen videos. And as you can see in that clip, we have a lot of different things going on. So I'm showcasing a new light from a company called Godox. I filmed some BTS with this light, so that should be the main focus. And I wanna convert this into Instagram or vertical format. So with this clip highlighted, I'm gonna click on open. And here we see a preview of what we just saw. On the left side, we can select the aspect ratio. We have 16 by nine, which is what it was filmed in. We have one by one, which is square, which honestly isn't used that much, not even for Instagram. In Instagram, we use nine by 16 mainly. Here we have nine by 16, which is again for Instagram reels, for stories, and for YouTube shorts even, and TikTok videos. We have four by three, which is also really not used. And we have 21 by nine, which is a cinemascope, which is actually used quite a lot for cinematic videos. I'm gonna stick with nine by 16. Now, what makes this tracking feature so unique is that it can automatically track for you. So you don't have to keyframe the frame of the shot constantly to make sure that it tracks the right subject. So under here where it says adjust frame, you can actually see how the tracker is working. When I play back the clip, we have the shot of the light, which is what I want. And then it goes right to mic which is the main subject of this clip. Michael Hearn is actually a really big fitness influencer in the community. I love working with this guy. And as you can see, the tracker did a really, really good job with this BTS content. Now, obviously I'm gonna do some cuts and trims to this clip. I'm not gonna use all of it. There is some space in the shot that I can trim out. For example, when the tracker goes and it focuses on like dead space right here, I'm probably gonna cut this section out. You can also adjust the frame but again, this works off of tracking. So when you adjust the frame, it's gonna try to track that part of the frame and sometimes it might not come out as clean as you would like. So under adjust frame, once we deselect that, you can see that we have two options here. One is tracking subject, we have primary and secondary, and we have tracking speed. Now by default, Filmora will automatically track the primary subject of this video clip. As of right now, it's focusing on the light and Mike O'Hearn, but what happens when I select on secondary, it's actually going to be tracking Mona right here or other subjects in the shot. It's really that intelligent. So really cool option right there. And of course, under that, we have the tracking speed. I like it to be a little bit slower and smoother so it's not jumping around too much. Now, once you're happy with the track and everything that it's been doing, I'm gonna go back to primary, I'm gonna select okay right here, and then I'm gonna click on export. So we're gonna output it to my downloads folder, and it's as easy as that. Now let's say you want to convert vertical to widescreen. We have a lot less screen real estate to work with, so when you start zooming in, you're gonna be losing a ton of resolution. But for the sake of this video, let me show you how that looks like. So here's our vertical clip. I'm gonna be taking this and converting it into widescreen. So let's select widescreen and let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it highlighted the area of the clip that it's gonna convert into widescreen and I think it overall did a decent job. Let's see if I can lift it up a little bit higher. I'm gonna click on OK. And you know what? The quality of the video actually looks a lot better than I expected. 
And that's probably because I shot in 4K resolution. So whenever you zoom in that tight on 4K, it still should look pretty decent depending on the camera that you're using. So I hope this quick video has given you an insight on how awesome AI reframe is within Filmora. Go ahead and give it a try. Click the link down below in the description box and let me know what you think. I'll see you in another video. Peace.